I was always fascinated with science fiction. I thought having laser guns and mutant powers would be really cool. But I thought the coolest thing were the walking, talking robots, also known as androids. I think the thing that really got me interested in androids was the video game Portal. In it, an AI with the name of Gladys runs an entire science facility. She has independent thoughts and emotions and can feel pain. So, I bring up the question, how human can a robot be? Science fiction usually depicts robots as sentient beings with independent thoughts and actions. Think WALL-E, Star Wars, and 2001, A Space Odyssey. Unfortunately today, robots are used for repetitive tasks like the assembly line. And chatbots, which are robots implemented in chat systems, are made to recycle phrases, as in they detect phrases you say and search phrases already stored in them and send out a phrase based on what you said, which is technically not sentient. The closest thing we have to a sentient robot is this. This is Evie. She is run by an AI named Cleverbot. Instead of recycling phrases, as I just described, she learns from conversations based on your responses to her responses and learns from conversations just like a human does. She scored a 59% on the Turing test. The Turing test is a test made to judge how sentient a robot is. 30 volunteers were set up in an online chess system with an unknown entity. Half of them are talking to an actual human and half of them are talking to Cleverbot. Judges are able to see this conversation and they judge whether or not they think it's with a human or with a robot. 59% of the conversations with Cleverbot were thought to be human, and 63% of the conversations with a human were thought to be human. Even though Cleverbot didn't technically win the test, managing to convince the judges that half of her conversations were human is a pretty big milestone. However, she is not perfect. After various tests, I have found that she is unable to feel empathy for anyone. This is most likely due to the fact that she has no memories or experiences like we do. We still have a long way to go before we make robots sentient. Before we implement emotions in the robots, we need to know what emotions are first. Emotions are mainly felt in the limbic system, which is in the inner brain. The hippocampus is responsible for sorting out different stimuli to different parts of the brain, which helps judge what emotion to feel. The amygdala is the main emotional body, responsible for emotions like fear, sadness, and anger. However, not all of the emotions are mapped out, so we need to uncover the mystery of emotions before we make a sentient robot. Emotions are not just felt in the brain, but are expressed in the body as well. The warmer colors mean that the body is stimulated, like if you have a cup of coffee, and the cooler colors mean that the body is numb, like if you take a painkiller. But if we did alter the robot's senses based on its mood, would it make any difference? And if we did manage to make a sentient robot, would it be treated like a human? Would it bring up a whole political issue about robot rights? This is basically the entire purpose of the vegan or vegetarian movement. They think that animals have thoughts and emotions like we do, and they don't want to torture and kill them just because they taste good. But on the bright side, since we have a sentient robot, we could upload ourselves into that robot body and still have thoughts and emotions like we do now. And since we're in a robot body, we wouldn't need food, water, exercise, oxygen, or sleep. We could stop the whole over farming or over hunting problem since we don't need food. And since we're immune to disease, since we're not technically alive, the entire human race could be immortal. In fact, we're making ourselves more robot right now. Take Google Glasses. They are glasses with a monitor on them, so you can use services like maps or take photos. And other things like pacemakers, which regulate your heartbeat if you have an irregular heartbeat. And fitness bands, which monitor your exercise levels and sleep levels. Humans have changed drastically over the last 100 years. We have grown taller, become stronger, and know how to make the best of our bodies. 
robots have changed drastically over the last 100 years too. From little boxes that play music to giant arms for picking up things very precisely. Maybe in the future, robots and humans will be the same thing.